Ryan, many congratulations. Thank you. I bet you're in dreamland right now, aren't you? A 6-0 yep. win over Johnny Clayton. Yep. Yeah, no, I don't think anyone expected that, even myself, really. I, I thought I could win, but I didn't think 6-0, no. So, yeah, dreaming, really. Is this the best result of your career to date? I think so, yeah. yeah. Live on telly, kind of, on stage two. So, yeah, biggest game for me, and I'm just happy to get through it. At the back of the stage when you're stood there and you're five nil up, what's going through your head? Because I bet you couldn't have imagined it would ever go that well. Don't lose six five. Because <laughs> no matter what anyone say, you go five nil down. You, you do, but no, I get thinking if I could just get a chance before he had a shot at double, I, I could win, and I didn't expect to, but no. So yeah, luckily, I closed down quite well. I think that result has blown that quarter of the draw wide open, hasn't it? So. If you've beaten a former European Tour winner, there's no reason why you can't go on and do some serious damage yeah. here. Yeah, because I don't, I never look at the draw, so I don't know, I don't know if who sort of seeds were in there. But no, if it, if it has opened it up, maybe I could be the one to have a good run. You've got Darius Levanauskas next. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. yeah. Le Le Levanauskas next. You, big stage experience, beating Roman van Barbel on the TV. Another tough test. Yeah, yeah, no, I've played him twice here. I think. I think I've lost one and beat him once. So he's another good player. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, just, it's all on the day, really. I think so. I'm hoping I can have a good run, but that's, yeah, anyone's game, really. You've had a great year today as well. This development tour really helps you settle into PDC life and give you that confidence that you can win games. Yeah, I think so. I mean, this year my aim was on the development tour to win my tour card again, and I've managed to do that, so I've got another two years. So yeah, it, it does help, yeah. Playing two tournaments in a day as well, which is tough. So. Yeah, I, I, I think so. So we'll see you tomorrow, really. Well, what does it mean, Alexandra Palace for the first time as well? I bet you can't wait. Yeah, no. As, like I say, as a young boy growing up, I watched it every year. So to plan this year, I, I can't. That's a big one. That's a dart player's dream. So yeah, I can't wait for that. What's it like trying to double, juggle full-time darts with still working at the same time as well? Is that is that tough? Because we know the tour is relentless. Yeah, yeah no, it, it is really tough, and I'm lucky to be somewhere where I can have the time off to do the tour. Because I, I still love my job as well. Like, so I train to be what I do. So I, I'd love to do both still, but maybe one day I'd love to just make the step. So that's like the pressure off the run a little bit, knowing that you haven't got to rely on darts as an income, but you've still got that as well. So it's not the be on end all. Yeah. yeah, no, I tell everyone that. that knowing if, like I say, these Pro Tour weekends are so brutal, you can easily lose first round, first round, and I know I'm going to work for the rest of the week and earn a wage. And that does take the pressure off massive for me. Ryan, it's an absolute pleasure yep. and congratulations on a great result. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Ryan, just to talk to me a little bit about the, the atmosphere down on that stage. It's a little bit different to the TV stage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah no, it is a lot different. But I, I've played on there on the UK Open before and um, <coughs> it's a nice little stage. It's good atmosphere, everyone's quite close. And yeah. yeah, no, I love it on stage too. I do now anyway. <laughs> is the next big goal for you to get up on the TV stage down in Minehead? It is, yeah. Yeah, no, I'd love to be on that main stage, but I know that means probably winning another few games. So yeah, hopefully I can have a chance on that. I know that Phil mentioned it briefly there, but the development tour, there's still a lot of top quality players. It's not just young youth players, there's a lot of players that even, even play in the Pro Tour and the development tour, aren't there? Yeah, I think, I think we worked out this year, there's still about 13, 14 players on the Pro Tour who play in the youth tour. So people, I think people sometimes think being a Pro Tour player, you'll win them. and. It's still so hard, short format, there's so many kids coming over who just have no fear and it is really tough still. So, yeah. Cheers, cheers. Thank you very much.